guys. My hatch has arrived today. Today is not a bus day, but my baby's sleeping. And I just can't help myself. I just gotta see if it's gonna fit without a bunch of work. I think it is. How am I gonna get up here? Here's the old hatch. Here's the new hatch. Underneath these, I think I have rivets. This is my first time with rivets. I haven't even drilled out a rivet before. Come on downstairs to the street. It's you, babe. With your lily pad lies and sack lunch parade. Plan out the truths that you spout and you chew and fan out your truth. Now, the reason that we're taking this hatch out, even though it worked more or less fine, is for three reasons. Number one, we want a skylight. The second thing is that most people, when they convert school buses, they want to put in some kind of ventilation. So they put in active ventilation by installing a fantastic fan. What those do is they're 12 volt fans that at a set temperature will start dumping air out through the roof or in depending on what you want. The third thing is that we want to still be able to access the roof from inside. What we're doing is we're replacing these with marine hatches. I'm going to mount a 12 volt box fan right here with brackets and we'll be able to turn that on whenever we want to use it. Same will go for back here. And this one back here will serve as the ventilation for the shower. And if it gets smoky using the cooktop, it'll ventilate through here as well. All right, so I got this old hatch out and I've got everything all prepped for the new hatch to go in. And the big dilemma here is that I ordered a hatch that's just slightly too big for my dimensions, 3 16 too long front to back. From up here I realized that there's really not much give but there is a chance that I can get just the dimensions I need otherwise it fits perfectly. I know why your hair is down this morning it's a coming of age you sympathize with your unfettered eyes but you don't Moment of truth for this here hatch. See how I pay to play. All the pain in my hand is from charting the plane. And the dust on my coat, that's from dynamite. And the blood on my sleeve, and the mud on my knee, they are bad. Oh, it's so close. Look yeah. at that. Well, that'll probably, that might go. Yeah, I need another eighth of an inch. Oh, I don't know what to do. You'll figure it out. Get back up on the roof. Maybe just push it down with your foot a tiny bit. Okay. It's gonna work, don't you worry. Okay. I'm gonna take the tree. Okay. Let's go watch Daddy climb a tree. Blood on my sleeve. And the mud on my knee They are badges from the blind men that leave Here's something I learned about bus converting. Sometimes you do something on the bus, as I've said. Other times you do battle with something on a bus. And you're gonna lose some. But I will not be defeated by one eighth of an inch of aluminum. Ta-da! It's not pretty, but it's in there. It's in there. And I used a bunch of clamps and some wood to just slowly force it in. I got my hatch in, but I'm having a tough time. Some of my screw heads are breaking off for some reason. So 10 gauge, countersunk, stainless steel, self-tapping screws. I don't know if this is just the wrong screw for this, but it sucks that a lot of them are breaking. I'll fix this little problem somehow. I keep thinking about these neoprene washers. This would prevent this, any screw head from touching the aluminum trim plate. 
and they also waterproof the hole so I don't know why this wouldn't be used all the time it's also a washer so it's distributing the the force of the screw head over a wider surface area I think it's a good solution so I'm going to use these zinc plated screws with these washers I'm so much happier with it now I have bigger screws not stainless steel they were totally easy to drive in and I got neoprene washers so I got one hatch in and it was not easy but she is a beauty you can't unlock her from the top when it's locked you can't really see in because it's so tinted when you're down there it feels like the skies above your head really quite awesome amazing fit too I'm so glad that I got it to fit in there and I'm just gonna stand here and enjoy it during the sunset oh, no, no.